So we're off and running on the, uh, God, what is this? Uh, the Inca Express. We're gonna see like five archaeological sites. And we're going to Puna, Lake Titicaca, which is Bolivia. Yep, we're going to Puna. So 10 hour bus ride, five stops, plus they include lunch. And uh, then we have all the museums that we're gonna hit along the way. So we're leaving, we've got about four hours sleep. Yeah. And now we're <laughs> on a bus yeah. in Peru, going through the real heart of Peru. So yeah, heading up towards, we'll be uh, not far from Bolivia and not far from um, Copacabana. So we're gonna stay in a, um, a hut, a um, real uh, basic hut on a floating island, uh, which there's, I guess, hundreds of floating islands, so we'll be going there. Anyways, here we go. So, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know how you feel here on the bus. How are you? Good. good. So, Nader is going to be the driver for us. The beautiful is the church of St. Peter. St. Peter is a beautiful church of the 17th century. Right here, friends, is, well, I believe the best stop here in the program. It's a quite big Inca archaeological site. Where is the temple of this Andean god? Huiracocha is the name of this god. Then, friends, the next one, the forest of here, is the highest point or the highest pass in all this trip. For the same reason, friends, the elevation in that one, I mean, is going to be the shorter stuff. The altitude in that place is 4,335 meters above sea level. stop the 16th 16th uh, chapel right in uh, American Chapel we are at the second second stop Ranki that's my baby so it's like a huge site actually we are here friends, close near to the building, the temple of Huiracochas. Well friends, but um, the city of this one was built by the Incas state during the 1440s and part of the 1450s. It was the biggest temple built by the Incas. In 1400, people lived here, the Incas. You're gonna realize the aqueducts, the irrigation system, that provide water to the terraces there. Let's, let's go pick a house out, baby. There's 160 to choose from. It's really weird. It seems like uh, that the houses they built in the 1400s are better than the houses they have today. They don't seem finished in most of the cities we went through. I'd rather live in these rocks than the houses they have built. It's something else. Definitely didn't feel the desire to buy real estate here at all. Um, well, maybe like a hotel, I think, Cusco. Hotel's nice, yeah. That it's definitely, the prices are similar that what you can find in the States in major cities and in the restaurants or anything, right? Food. Yeah, 100 bucks a so, night. So for the dinner, it's easy to spend $200, I think, for, for just for two for dinner, right? Oh, yeah. It definitely had like duplexes and fourplexes all built together with a common back wall. 
The church behind me would have been built in the 1400s during the Inca time, right? Wait a minute. Strange, right? They traveled all the way out here and they kept building temples and building cities. These people had to have a place to come to so they can have a common arbitrator, right? Listening for civilization. Very cool though. And here we are back to the bus. I started the bus. I guess it's a, a bad sign that I took you that. Here we are. It's failing. There's the sign. Well, after a ten hour bus, bus ride. Um, and That's four there. stops. Was eight. Eight, eight, hours. eight hours. Eight hours. Now we're in Puno, and we're on the lake, getting ready to go to um, a floating island Uros. where we're staying. Uros, Uros. Uros. A floating island um, that we'll be staying on.